Okay. So I did a little post and asked what you guys would want to do today and transfer one by like a long shot. So we're going to do this transfer. Um, it's by Dixie Bell Paint Company. It's called Lace. I don't know if y'all remember the end table I did. It was like gothic glam. Um, this is actually the dresser that goes with it. So we are going to work on that. So when you open your transfer, this is your tool to apply it. This is all you need. It's called a brandishing stick. Um, and I'll show you how to use it. And then your transfer is going to come on little sheets. You have to be really careful that you don't take the backing off until you're 100% ready to go because it will stick and it will get ruined. And transfers are not cheap. I think I paid $25 for this. Um, so yeah, don't mess it up. I've done that before. So this one comes with four sheets. Okay. Like the Alice in Wonderland bookcase I did, I cut that one up because it was like specific little shapes that I wanted in different areas. This is just going to go on as one piece. Um, so it's kind of easier that way. So yeah, easy. It's really easy. And it's a good way to add all kinds of cool character to your piece or, you know, really whatever you want. Dixie Bell just brought out a whole new line of transfers it's actually brand new for them so they had the Alice in Wonderland they have this lace one they have all kinds of different flower ones they have a hot air balloon one that I'm actually working on a piece right now that I'm gonna use that one on let me think they have a nautical one it has like lighthouses and um nautical stuff um what else birds yeah, so check it out. They have a lot. Redesign with Prima is another company that carries a lot of cool transfers. Um, I go on Etsy and order transfers there. Hocus Pocus is another company. I've never personally used them. And then there's one called like Orchid, Iron Orchid or something. That's another company I've never used. But I've used Dixie Bell and I've used Redesign with Prima. They're both good, good, really good um, ones. So... Before you take the backing off, you're going to make sure it's where you want it to be. So mine's pretty easy. I'm just going to try to line it up in the middle here and then just go all the way down with it with the different sheets. It's kind of how I did that end table. Here, I'll swing you around. Yep, see it right there? So that's how I did that one. So when you're ready, oop, it. hold on. Okay, so when you're ready, you're just going to pull the backing off very easily. Remember, it's really sticky, so be careful. I'm holding it by those little edges right there. You're going to... And it's, e it's better to use landmark, so... Mine's simple. It's straight across, right? So I'm just going to use that top ledge there so I know it's straight. Easy. Make it easy. Work um, smarter, not harder, right? Isn't that the same? Stick it there. Press it with your hand first. Smooth it out, okay? Then you're going to get your brandishing stick. Now, you're gonna wanna do this all over. So I'm gonna bring it closer. And you're just gonna start what they call brandishing it. Especially those edges, because you'll see, as soon as you can lift up a side, it's gonna be easier on yourself to get this whole thing down. But right now, we're just gonna go over the whole thing, especially the edges. 
This part's boring. I'm sorry in advance, but that's what you gotta do. Now this piece was painted in black and black shows every little imperfection until you clear coat it. Um, but don't worry, as soon as you put your clear coat on, those little scuffs and stuff will come out. So don't worry about it. And I'm holding the piece by the bottom there to keep it stable. Just so you know, you're gonna wanna keep it stable somewhat. Okay, so we're just pressing as hard as we can. And you don't, you don't have to do what I'm about to say, but I normally let my coat of paint or your last coat of paint, whatever, dry for at least a day before I do this. Um, just because you want the paint to be super dry. Dry as can be. I wouldn't like do your last coat of paint and then try to put a transfer on after an hour. That might be really silly. And then it might not be, I don't know. I've never done it, so I don't wanna take the chance. <laughs> Too much work to possibly make a boo-boo. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fingernail here and try to pop up this one side. All right, so lift up that side. Do not pull it off because you'll be super upset when it doesn't pull off and your transfer comes up. So what I'm doing is I'm just lifting up this side and brandishing it as I'm pulling up to make sure it's on there good. And then as I'm pulling, I'm rebrandishing. See? Now say you start to pull up like right here. I don't know if you can see that, but as I'm pulling up, this little piece isn't stuck to the piece of furniture. That's okay. Place your paper back down and rebrandish right there. Not a big deal. If you were to just pull this whole thing off, then you'd be screwed. But if you do it slow like I'm doing, make sure it's all down. You'll be fine. And I'm not left-handed, so it's kind of awkward. See how I'm going back down over, and you can see how it's pulling off? I'm just going this side because I'm right-handed, so it's easier. And see as I'm I'm slowly pulling up as I'm going. I don't know if you guys can tell that. That tells you that kind of like helps you gauge when to pull up. Some of the transfers as you're brandishing, you can literally tell that it's ready because it change it like becomes translucent. And when you get to the end, it literally pops off. Kind of something you have to see for yourself and do for yourself. Um, to get a feel for it. So you're going to do that the whole way, right? I'm not going to bore you with me doing that. It's going to take forever. 
well, not forever, like probably like 15 minutes, but you're going to do that the whole way. And when you're done, um, I let mine set for a couple hours at least. And then you want to make sure you put a top coat on it. I like top coat and flat because I don't like like the shininess that a lot of the top coats give you. So um, I use Dixie, Bol Dixie Bell top coat and flat. Um, that's just my personal preference. It doesn't matter though. You just have to make sure that you put some type of sealer over top of it because you want to protect this. But that's it. Hope you guys like it. See you next Tuesday. Bye.